Fair. Trying to hold the lead. Now a swing and a fly ball. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Probably should have been a fair ball. Probably was. You're just lying about the ball being foul. Yeah, I call you out when you fucking lie like that shit. Sir Dudenstein is Dudeness. will stand in for the fourth time now. Still looking for his first hit of the ball game. And he's not the only one either. This has been a great pitching performance so far. And they've had these guys chasing round, the round, round, round. Long. And a reach to his backhand side at second, but this finds a way by. Because he fucking Because Because Brian Pickleman There is, is a fucking It is a small bunch of people It is a small bunch of people It was a small bunch of people It's still a small bunch of people It's thinking he should be gay It's This is the MLB pregame show, and I'm Matt Vaskersian. And as we draw nearer to the first pitch of game one in the series, we'll give you the latest installment of our Tops Player Spotlight. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, will be our subject. And not only was he an all-star during the midseason break, but he also... Jeez, this, ser seriously, you guys got fixed. and under the roof tonight here at Rogers Center in Toronto, Ontario. It's the opener of this three-game series between the New York Yankees and the Toronto Blue Jays. Who's going to win the battle between these two? We'll see next. So now let's take a look at... Joe seriously, Joe. seriously, this is... This this is literally that because family is a joke. From the stretch, here's the pitch. This ball hit a ton out to center field. Reyes ranging back. Gone. A fence scraper, but still good for three runs. So a three-run blast to deep center here. Home run number nine on the year as the Yankees move out to a three-to-nothing lead. Well, he worked himself into trouble out there right off the bat. He had to go through the heart of the order with guys on base. And now the next thing you know, he's already down 3 nothing before he gets out of the first. Sir Dudenstein is doing this. He is into the box as we are all set to begin the third. And you know, guys, I love a guy like this leading off an inning for you. He makes good contact and he can run. 
into the windup and the pitch. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. And at this point, I don't think you could expect anything less than a two-hit ball game from this guy. I mean, he's been as hot as anybody lately, and he comes through again here. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, strides into the box now. Launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. First pitch on its way. Fly ball. And get up. Damn. But he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Don't look now, but he's closing in on what might be in a historic performance. He's got a single. He's got a homer. Now he's got a triple to go along with the other two. If he could come up with a double next time up, he could put his name in the record books. So Dudenstein, his Dudeness, gets a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. And a big two out at bat right here. You know, it's still early wow. in this game. But you don't want to have to look back on this as a major missed opportunity later on. That's in there. Base hit. Yeah, that's going to be a cycle. In the fourth inning, by the way. <laughs> Holy shit! This is fucking insane. We're beating the shit out of him right now. It's 13 to 1 in the fourth inning. That's no longer the case, but it's still very special. And this is not a game he'll likely forget. I'm sure we'll be talking about it for a while too. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will stand in, and as he does, we'll flash you back to the first. Well, they stopped the bleeding. Hey. Told the one. Wait a minute. It's 11 to 1. The last time was up. We just. Oh, the only one run scored. Are you kidding me? I didn't go. What the fuck? What time they could have probably gone and scored? He didn't. Because when he doesn't, when he, can, when he gets thrown out badly, he goes, we can be safe, hey. That was gone. If hell was bounced twice there, and only got bounced out, it bounced down into the into the seats below, and then most like it's got bounced out of those seats. I just bounced around. I tell you, that's the perfect storm there. A power pitcher on the mound throwing a hard fastball to a power hitter at the plate. He takes a big swing and I can't believe that guy actually is cuts of his argument is that family guy get because it was a joke on family guy. Are you kidding me? That's number three? Yep. <laughs> Holy shit. So it's a solo shot to dead center. His third home run of the ball game as the blowout continues. The 22 to 2. Boy, have a night. His third home run of the ball game. I mean, he's absolutely brimming with confidence at the plate. It's been a joy to watch so far. And fellas, as always, a few guys we could have chosen from, but out of everybody, that's the man who stands out in my book. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, not a big surprise here. He had more hits in this one game than some guys get in a whole month. No doubt he gets the hardware in this one. Yeah, seven hits. Come on, three home runs. I like driving the seven runs. Well, sort of more. So that just about does it. 
for EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. I almost had as many hits as, as Toronto did as a team. I had one less hit than Toronto has as a team. <laughs> That's how badly we beat them. I had almost as many hits as they did. By myself. Oh, jeez. Almost ready for game time at Rogers Center as the roof is shut to keep us nice and warm. Tonight, the second well, it is April in Canada. Oh, I could say in Canada, it snows during the 65 days a year. <laughs> Kappa. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, gets his first opportunity now in the top of the first with nobody on. Yeah, and you don't want to set the early tone here by letting him cruise through the first yeah, inning. Yeah, beats it. Oh, you talk about being comfortable at the plate. That's the way he's feeling it right now. Nine straight games with that base hit now. Joseph Ruiz will get a shot here with two away and a runner at first now following the base hit. That two-out single seemed harmless enough, but any time you extend the inning to allow this guy to get a shot at a runner, you better be careful. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Damn, the guy took took my stolen base for me. This is not really a high percentage. Yeah, okay. So stepping in, number 26, as he'll look to bring home that time run from second with a base. They're duplicating his dudeness. Swing and he pops him up. Bull fucking shit! Come on, I'm too good at her fucking net. Really? Sip my fire on shot. What the fuck? I hear the air. We're gonna fucking make a fucking pop up for no reason. Be in the air. God, that ball disappeared there for a second. Didn't know where the hell it ended up. Where the hit? Home runs for him now thus far, and the Yankees have drawn even now at one apiece. This guy's got to be at the point where he's thinking. Well, I like guess the screen around the speaker, whatever that is, in center. Oh, he's down on. Back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here. A solo shot that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. Now here's the ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here. Sir Dudenstein is Dudenstein. Come on, Chief. Play time. Here we go. Here as we take you back to inning number seven. This was his second home run of the ball game, as he'd like nothing more than to make it three right here. Oh, there it is! Back to back on runs with the air runs. I'll be glad when I'm out of Toronto. I B3 Bows 03. Mm hmm. Absolutely brimming with confidence at the plate. It's been a joy to watch so far. We just massacred them back. <laughs> we massacred them one game. Next game, we win only nine to two. We I mean, we were losing one to nothing in the sixth, and then I guess the bullpen blew up. Come the seventh. Look, it's got five runs in the seventh. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Eric Carroll and Steve Lyons. I'm and the floodgates open after that. No, three in the night. That's by my two-run shot. You set for the finale of this three-game set. That'll come your way in mere moments, but first we'll take a look at the top's player spotlight. 
Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness is our subject. And not only was he an awesome... It seems like a glitch. 